Yeah. How are you this week, anyway? Fine. I, I, uh, I have a present for you. Yes? I, I had such a great time doing the show. I wanted to give you my 8 by 10. Yeah. Yeah? Well, thanks a lot, Loudon. <laughs> I mean, don't get me a pair of cufflinks or anything, you know. Give, give me something valuable. It'll save me buying a hawker's notice, anyway. <laughs> You look taller on the radio. <laughs> what does this say? This is, this is uh, Jasper, thanks for the big break. And I sign it, Laudo. Laudo? That's, oh, that's, that's my show business. Oh, name. really? Yeah. Re I saw you on MASH a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I, I'm, it's an old uh, rerun. It's, it was great to be on MASH because in the, in the 60s, I was a draft dodger. So I, it was great to finally get to put a uniform on. <laughs> How many episodes of that do you do? I, I got, uh, I did three. They're going to show two more. When? Oh, because now you, you wouldn't know, would you? Right? I don't know. Sometime. All right. Check your local whatever. Okay. So what have you got for us this week? It's another song, but it's a song about the whole experience of doing this fabulous show. <laughs> That's okay, Loudo. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Okay. Loudon Wainwright the third, ladies and gentlemen. town people recognize me probably cause they've seen me singing these songs on TV in the last eight weeks I've found a gold mine of exposure my career has taken off I'm a celebrity the guy I buy my grapefruit from smiles at me every morning all the tellers at my bank are at my beck and call and harry owns the shop in town where i take my dry cleaning i gave him my eight by ten to hang up on his wall pretty soon i'll be a name in each and every household a lifelong dream is coming true it's happening for me on the street the people stare and I can hear them whisper there he goes there's what's his name we saw him on TV I try to be polite and humble down to earth and normal so when I walk away They'll say, he's just like you and me. But there is a pressure and it's so hard to act natural. When millions see you every week, sing these songs on TV. The snooty waitress in the wine bar is acting pretty friendly. Fending off these friendly females is pretty damn tricky. The eight by tens on Harry's wall are stars you all have heard of. Frankie Vaughn, The Three Degrees, Chaz and Dave and me. All my life, all that I wanted was to be real famous. On a surname basis, with a lot of maitre d's. I'm the talk and toast of this town. Listen to them murmur. There he goes, there's what's his name. We saw him on TV. I'd like to take the time right now to thank my old pal Jasper for hiring me to write and sing these great songs on TV. It's advertising for myself, and though they do not pay well, I'd also like to take this time to thank the BBC. 
And if you want an autograph, well, I can understand that. I can be reached and written to at this address below. Did you get that? An eight by 10 like Harry has will cost a little extra. They're in demand, they're going fast. Say la biz, you know. London is a lonely town. It's kind of drums, you know. <laughs> but I am never lonely. Everybody knows me here. It's clear and plain to see. Yesterday a guy walked up. He tapped me on the shoulder. He said, aren't you, what's his name? I saw you on TV. Yeah, he said, aren't you, what's his name? I saw you on live TV. My thanks to Loudon Wainwright. <clears throat> Actually, we were in town in the week, in the West End. I had to put him straight. This really happened. We were in the West End, and he wanted to make a phone call. And he didn't have any change. So you know what he did? He flagged a taxi down, and then asked the driver to change a 10.